what those little critters are. But there's something in there that's swimming around. Way faster and more energetic than a tadpole. Yeah, that's a water boat then. Okay, I don't know what that critter is, but there's quite a few of them. And the dam's only had water for less than a week. Whether they were living in soggy mud puddles under the ground, or whether they've hatched from eggs, I have no idea. speed with which life returns to the dam is amazing. Mushrooms in the wheel tracks. Been a while since this gully was running with water. Water holes. This is why wallaby Bicoloratura lives around here. Swamp wallabies. Because this is supposed to be a montane swamp. Bunya pine in a cage. Been there since about 1995. Every time it has stuck itself out of the cage, that branch has been bitten off by something. Perhaps wandering deer. Who knows? The dead brown leaves are from the millennial drought, as far as I can figure it out, which it miraculously survived as an infant. Deep acropod footprints. The kindling pile. Really am going to have to do something with that. Before the country dries out again. Yes, hard to believe. But I've burnt this particular country five years ago. We've got burn marks up on the trunks of the trees and these Dead wattles, 
they were green and alive when the fire came through. The fire killed them and then they become fuel for the next fire. That's why some places burnt three weeks or three months after being burnt during the 2019-2020 Black Summer fires. I haven't burnt that country there since 1998. This stuff over here, much more greener. It got burnt in 2014. But that stuff just there, it had not been burnt. I don't think. since about 1958. But this stuff, I should be burning that today. Because anything you can get to burn when the country is wet, covered in mud puddles, you should burn it then. Because on any sort of a hotter, drier day, then you probably wouldn't dare to burn it. Things like old dry bracken fern. Yeah, gonna have to get a fire permit. light dominant aperture has its limitations but it's pretty versatile as well this is the trial cut and uh, somebody was thinking about digging a dam decided they weren't quite low enough down the gully. I was wondering whether that had water in it last week on the three dam survey. Would have been good runoff coming down here. Seems to be all, oh no. We have deer. Not all kangaroo and swamp wallaby. Some people get all hit up about bambies, but I don't. Mm. Kangaroo. Popping at speed going around a corner. I think that's Bambi. Bambi. Yeah, Bambi. Going off. You can see how the, the soil has just fallen off the rocks and down into rank and swampy bogs 
of topsoil under subsoil slump there where once tall gum trees used to grow. And the people who caused this erosion had no idea that that was what they were doing. They thought that by clearing the trees they could quote open the land up unquote and grow more grass and graze more domestic introduced livestock and they created a rock block which is just beginning to recover after having had a rest for 30 years well-meaning hard-working ignorant arrogant ambitious credulous true believers in the expanding British Empire the grand colonial mission to civilize Australia while exploiting its resources for the good of the Empire I need to burn this but how to do it without risking losing it now that is the question I guess wet lines around the outside and do it in little tiny bits gully has been running the gully is running Guess who just barely raised the $500 water pump enough to keep it from going scuba diving. How's that? Warble's not as silly as he looks. Just enough is only enough. Only just enough. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, I don't think it's actually been flowing, but there's a fair bit of seep through on the downhill side of the dam oh, Warbles on a lot, what a smart ass water on the floor
And this is why it's called Contemplation Rock. Because you can sit down and you can actually rest your didgeridoo on that. And you can really have fun. And out of all this water, four tons of it, is rainwater that I have siphoned down the hill from my boy wall tanks. That's 100,000 uh, 100, gallons. 450,000 litres, half a megalitre, almost. But, uh, just in case we get more rain and I wind up with another, I don't know, third of a metre on top of this, flushing the spillway out, I'll take a bed on the fuel canister, but I'm going to move the pump itself uphill a bit further. From there, there now. I think that looks much more better. Vertical superiority. That's what that is. Vertical superiority. That looks much, much less insecure. How's that for a reflecting pond? Hopefully it won't uh, have to last until this time next year. There's a dragonfly down there. Very difficult tracking a dragonfly. On a handheld mobile phone at five power telephoto. With the sun on the back of the screen. And I'm not actually wearing my glass glasses. And the dragonfly sunlit over the top of the shadowed water is pretty good fun, you know, like 
If it worked, it would have been good. But I won't know till I watch the replay as to whether it worked. Talk about magic moments. I think it cost me a thousand dollars to have this dam dug 30 years ago. I reckon I've had a thousand dollars worth of fun out of it. At least many times over. And this might be considered a bushfire fighting reserve pond for at least six months and hopefully a year. And even more hopefully, it'll get continually topped up year in the year and I won't have to rely on it because next year it won't be a bushfire breakout year. Wouldn't that be nice? When things go right. Life's not bad being a greenie. Although if I had have neglected to raise that pump, I'd be walking around wearing out my kneecaps by kicking myself up the backside at every step. I'm really pleased with the judgment on that one. Because I thought it was a long shot that the water would come up to the spillway. But that's what it did. Two little birdies over there. There's one coming in closer. There we go. Birdie went fishing. I wonder what he got. You can see why the Japanese spent so much bloody time and effort making reflecting pools and raked gardens and stuff like that, can't you? Whereas I just paid to have a hole dug. And waited 30 years for nature to do its stuff. As it has. Little bird sitting in the tree again. Getting ready to go fishing, I think.
back to dog fighting with dragonflies. And I'm afraid they're more maneuverable than my camera is at that height. There's two of them in there, literally dog fighting. And I can't track them. Even with my hat pulled down and my granny glasses on, it's still not working. How's that? For an illustration of the symmetry of the universe. In the words of uh, Frank Herbert in the Dune Trilogy, prime function of biology is that the more life occupies a space, the more life can occupy the space. As each additional species creates niches of 3 to 15 other species, enabled and facilitated by the presence of each additional species. And right now, one of the species whose presence I am enabling and facilitating is the mosquitoes. So I'm going to have to get up and start moving, wandering back up the hill to the hut. But oh dear, what a marvellous afternoon this has been on a three dam survey. Raising the pump and shooting dragonflies with a camera. Oh, nothing beats having a full dam. 100,000 gallons and it didn't even drown the pump. Can't say that I've done much today. Having spent an hour on the TBC 500 yesterday as well as running around the show making a hour and 12 minute video in two and a half hours of elapsed time. So today was a bit of a blast style of a day until I decided to go for a walk. see what's been happening at the far end of the Aquarius pipeline. Yeah, light meter dominant. As far as I know you're allowed to keep 10% of the runoff and the runoff is calculated to be 10% of what arrives vertically. So if I've supposedly got 830 millimetres in an average year on 40 hectares, 
that's about oh, something like 320 megalitres a year falls on the place of which 32 runs off of which I'm entitled to catch and store um, 3.2 no I'm entitled to catch and store 0.32 3.2 runs off and 32 lands on the place. Yeah, that's about more like it. 3.2, no, 32 falls, 3.2 runs off. I'm allowed to catch 0.32 of a megalitre. And that there dam at 100,000 gallons is 0.454 of a megalitre. So it's slightly larger than I'm technically allowed to have, but Oh, it was 30 years ago and I just paid the bloke with the bulldozer and the dumpy level to put the biggest dam he could fit with the money that I was paying him right there in the best spot to catch as much water running through my downhill fence as possible. So it drains 160 acres um, and I only own 100 acres and I think I only own about 60 acres of the 160 which it drains. So all told, it's a very clever little dam indeed. If I do say so myself. And all I've ever used it for is letting the wildlife drink from it. And I've had one season of using it as a firefighting reserve. And with the passage of the time, I'm pretty sure I spent more money on the pipeline than I did on having the dam dug. I think that's right. Progress and technology and inflation. Between them, they facilitate the happening of amazing things. Warbles on a lot of YouTube. Ciao.